Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So just recently for Christmas, I did receive the Tarte in Bloom palette. Um, if I were to create a palette myself, I envision it looking very similar to this. Um, as far as packaging goes and the colors inside, I just feel like this palette describes me. Um, I'm acting like I designed the Tarte in Bloom palette. But I'm just obsessed with it. I think the colors describe me. Um, these are totally colors that I would wear um, on a daily basis when I go out. Any colors that I would ever wear are in this palette. This is definitely like a rose goldy kind of palette, um, but it does have a couple cooler tone browns as well, and a lot of it is matte. Um, it just has one shimmery shade in each row, which I think is really great because a lot of the palettes that I have are like the naked palettes and things like that. They have a lot of shimmery shades and this one has more matte shades. The back of it is gold and it just has like the gold around the edges and the front is kind of like this florally design. And um, yeah, so I'm completely obsessed with this palette. Today's look is just kind of like a smoky, kind of purpley, rose goldy, smoky eye. I don't know. It's something I really, really like, and you compare this look with just like a nude lip or with like a dark lip. It's really up to you. I chose a dark lip today just to make it a little bit more fun, but I guess that is all I have to jibber about, and let's just get right into the tutorial. Hey guys, so just to make this video a little bit quicker, I already applied my foundation, my brows, concealer, and powder. So to start off with my eyes, I'm using my Wet n Wild Eye Primer in the color A Little Party and just applying that all over my lid. Then going into the Tarte in Bloom palette, I'm grabbing the color Sweetheart and just using that as my transition shade in my crease and outer third of my eye. So next in the palette, I'm going to be grabbing this color called Rubble and just using that on the outer third of my eye and working it into the crease. Um, I absolutely love this color. It's actually probably my favorite shade in the palette. Then I'm grabbing this copper color called Firecracker and I'm applying that to the outer third of my eye and center of my lid as well. To darken things up a bit, I grab the color Leader and just pop that on the outer third of my eye and blend it into the crease just slightly. And then I'm grabbing the color Funny Girl and I'm going to be applying that to the inner third of my eye and also popping it right in the inner corners to brighten things up a bit. Then I am taking the color Charmer and just popping that on my brow bone. Then to smoke everything out a bit, I'm just taking that color Rebel and running that along my lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Jordana Fabuliner and just creating a slight wing. So I'm just kind of doing that and then you'll see me take a kind of fine tip brush and um, perfect that. Sorry I was having serious difficulties trying to film this and like get a good wing at the same time, <laughs> obviously. So then I'm gonna be going in and curling my lashes. And for my first coat of mascara, I'm using the Essence Volume Boost Mascara and just using that really on the outer third of my lashes to thicken them up. And then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and coating all of my lashes, top and bottom. By the way, guys, if I sound sick, it is because I'm getting over a cold, so sorry my voice is so um, raspy. Um, and for bronzer, I'm going in with my Victoria's Secret bronzer in the color Wild Thing, and I'm sorry because I think this is actually a discontinued product, but I love it so I can't help but grab for it. Then I'm going in with my Makeup Studio blush in the color Wildflower, I think it's called, and just popping that onto my cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with my Essence So Glow and applying that to my cheekbones and a little bit on my brow bone as well. And then just to warm up that highlight a little bit, I'm grabbing my Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in the color Tiki and applying that right over the top. Then to set everything, I'm using my NYX Dewy Finish and Matte Finish Setting Spray. I like to combine them. Um, I'm not really sure why. 
And then for my lips, I'm using the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the color Toasted Marshmallow. I absolutely love this color. So yeah, guys, that is absolutely it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!